let's yet again talk about data recovery. Losing important data, be it through your own fault or other software defects, can be a nightmare and ultimately lead to a moment of panic, especially if no backups were made beforehand. Luckily, there are tools out there that can be used to successfully and effectively recover data. Unfortunately, there are certain instances where recovery will not be possible. That's why I can't stress enough, for heaven's sake, create backups and do so regularly, so that the actual need for data recovery can be prevented. Trust me, I've learned my lesson a few years ago. But understandably, there isn't always a backup for each and every file, especially not if the file in question is still pretty fresh and just happened to disappear as quickly as it was created. Today I'll give the Tendershare 4D DIG software a chance to prove itself and will show you how to successfully use it to scan and then recover deleted and seemingly lost data, such as photos and videos on an SD card. Of course, the tool can also be used for other devices, such as HDDs, SSDs, USB flash drives, etc. In addition, this software is not only available for Windows, but also for Mac. This video is brought to you by Tenorshare, today's sponsor. I know you want me to get to the point already, but before that I have to warn you that the success of data recovery doesn't solely depend on the software you're using, but also for how long the data has been gone, or whether or not you, in the meantime, have written new data onto the SD card. Therefore, when dealing with data loss, never ever write new files onto the affected storage media. Otherwise, the success rate of data recovery drops immensely. However, if your storage media, whether hard drive, SSD or SD card, is affected by a physical defect, software recovery will only rarely do the trick for you. Well, right here I've prepared a completely empty SD card. Onto that one, I am now going to store a bunch of different file types, mainly photos, videos and music. For the most part, MP4, MP3, as well as JPEG and PNG files. Overall, we are looking at a size of over 5GB and we are counting 130 files in total. Now let's say you deleted everything or a software bug did exactly that. The SD card now is empty. As mentioned before, at this point you should immediately stop writing new data to the affected storage device. So we are now heading to my sponsor's website and will be using their 4D DIG data recovery tool for all recent Windows versions. A variety of file systems and types are supported. You can even scan for deleted data for free. So let's go ahead and download 4D DIG now. As usual, you can choose from a few different languages for the installation. Of course, be mindful not to install the program onto the affected media. I can't repeat that often enough. After the installation is complete, we can now start the software. The user interface is very simple and straightforward. We can choose from our respective drives or just browse common locations, such as the desktop, recycle bin or a specific folder. For DDIG, also offers the option of extracting data out of crashed systems and, as is often the case, also comes along with photo and video repair functionality if there is any corruption. Usually that leads to mixed results. Now before we start our scan, as it's the case with most recovery tools out there, you will require a license if you plan to actually recover any found files after scanning for those. The free version only allows you to search for lost files, basically gives you the chance to check if any of your files still can be found. That's something I wanted to let you know beforehand. So I'm now going to select my affected SD card. Then I choose which file types I want to track down, be it photos, videos, documents or whatever. After that, the scanning process will begin. In fact, the fast scan completes fairly quickly will then automatically see the software digging deeper using its deep scan functionality. The tool immediately managed to locate my deleted folders. Of course, there's also a preview available of all these individual files, and that even applies to my unprocessed video recordings. 
Essentially, it seems as though all my data from before has successfully been detected so that we could actually go ahead and abort any further scanning. We'll then see a few tips and explanations on what all these terms actually mean and do. Following that, we are allowed to select individual files and folders that we wish to rescue. Then simply hit the recover button and choose where you want to save these selected files on your system. Here too, the user fortunately is being reminded not to save anything to the affected storage media. For this purpose, I created a folder on the desktop. Often we'll then see a prompt giving us the choice between recovery only or to additionally have the software repair any corrupted files. I'm choosing the latter. Depending on your file sizes and how fast your SD card and hard drive or SSD in your system is, this can take a while. As soon as the recovery is complete according to the software, we are now allowed to view our rescued data. It's always a good idea to comb through the data and check for any corruption just to make sure. In my case, everything that I had on the SD card is present. But interestingly, as far as the video files are concerned, there's additionally a presumably repaired copy as well. I mean, it's what I selected within the software when I was asked. Although the original file doesn't seem to be damaged whatsoever, so I just as well could have skipped the repair in itself. Other than that, everything can be opened and placed back just fine without any issues. Therefore, the recovery of my SD card was a success, meaning I can give the tender share for the DIC software a big thumbs up, although to be perfectly honest with you, there are also other great alternatives out there besides 4D DIC, regardless of this being sponsored. So all of you that are interested in giving today's software I've shown a shot are welcome to use the 30% coupon code. With that in mind, I really do hope you won't have to rely on any data recovery software and instead have a good backup schedule in place. In case you ever run into such an emergency, however, it never hurts to know your options. Thanks a lot for watching and until the next one.